Hi everyone, uh, this is a video about the clothing that I wear on summer canoe camping trips in the Adirondacks. So uh, let's start with hats. Um, I bring along a Tilly Airflow hat. Um, I like this because it's vented, it's got a wide brim, and uh, it's got a strap to keep it on in case it's windy. So this is what I wear when I'm paddling. And then um, another hat I bring is kind of a, I guess a sun hat you would call it. This is a glacier glove hat. I like this because it has uh, cloth to cover the back of my neck, prevent sunburn back there. It's got a uh, cord to tighten and uh, so you get a good fit. It's vented on the top. There's four vents and it's got a big brim keep the sun off my face and a uh, strap to keep it on in case it's windy. And then I usually bring a, uh, a cap. This is a waterproof cap. Um, I like this one because uh, it works well with my uh, Patagonia rain jacket. So the hood of the rain jacket has a small brim and that will sit on top of this brim which is very firm and um, will give it good support. So if it's raining and I'm paddling, uh, this is a good combination. And uh, then of course I have a bandana, I bring that. And then I do bring a buff. So uh, if I'm wearing the Tilly, sometimes I'll wear this buff um, also to keep the um, sun off of my neck. And it's also good if there's insects, it'll keep the insects off of my neck as well and it'll actually go up around my head so I can cover my ears and everything. And then um, in the summer I have mesh uh, undershorts so um, these are ex officio. And then as a top base layer most of the time I end up even though it's summer I end up wearing a uh, long sleeve um, paddling shirt and this is an NRS. I also have one by Eddie Bauer. Um, so that becomes the base layer. Now if it's exceptionally warm um, I will wear a short sleeve um, paddling shirt. This is a Heli Hansen and then of course I'm putting sunscreen on my arms and so on because that's exposed. And then over that if I need it um, I wear um, a vented long sleeve shirt again to keep the um, sun off of my arms and it's got a big vent in the back which is nice. Um, the cut is really good. It allows a lot of movement. Um, this one is a button down. I have some shirts that are also, this is a Patagonia, I have some shirts that have um, snaps which makes it easier on and off. And uh, it's got plenty of pockets here. This is a zip pocket, two chest pockets. So that's good for keeping um, things in. Uh, and then pants wise, uh, I like these um, Patagonia wading pants. And these are good. Uh, the material is great. You know, it dries quickly. It's got plenty of pockets. It's got the kind of built in belt. Um, and it just, these work really well. And um, got the big cargo pocket there as well. All right, so that's that. And then, um, so sock-wise, I bring um, three different kinds of socks. I bring uh, Coolmax liners, which um, I'll, when I'm paddling, I'll often just wear these with uh, whatever shoes I'm wearing. And uh, depending on where I'm going, um, I could uh, use the boundary boots, the NRS boundary boots that I wear in other seasons as well. But typically in the summer, I'll, uh, if there's uh, carries of any uh, length or difficulty, uh, I'll wear these NRS work boots. They have a you know good solid lug sole and they have a lot of ankle support. And um, these work really well so um, on carries. 
so this uh, sock works well in that. And then if you know there's nothing robust, I like these Atacama um, assault boots, and these drain really well. They're uh, padded. And again, these Coolmax socks works well with that, and they have a good sole for traction. So if it's um, an easy put in, no long carries or difficult carries, um, these work uh, fine. And then um, the other type of sock I bring is just like a uh, smart wool, a wool blend sock, and these I typically wear these in camp. And um, then a wool, a light wool sock I also wear in camp and sometimes I'll wear these with one of my paddling shoes because um, the wool will dry pretty quickly and if I think I'm going to do that and I'm going to be gone for four or five days I'll bring two pairs of these figuring that one I might wear in camp and one um, I might wear paddling. Okay. Um, other clothing that I bring, um, I bring a mesh t-shirt, uh, depending on the number of them, depending on the number of days that I'm going to be uh, gone. And these I'll wear around camp or if I'm taking day hikes, um, you know, not doing anything on the water, uh, these would be uh, something that I would wear. And um, I could also sleep in them. And then um, if I'm going to be doing swimming, um, I bring a, a swimsuit. Sometimes I don't even bring a swimsuit. I just swim in one of the pairs of underwear that I bring because I'll bring several of them. And then I'll usually have um, one extra uh, long sleeve shirt. Um, and this one is, uh, this is good. This is one of the ones that snaps. So it's kind of like the Patagonia. It's just not a, a name brand, and um, this has a lot of features. It has these um, straps so that you can roll up the sleeves and um, you know keep them up. So this this can double as a short sleeve shirt too, and it's vented and all that, and plenty of pockets. So I'll bring uh, a second shirt. So besides the one that I have to use paddling, I have one for in camp. Uh, sometimes I opt instead of bringing. Uh, another shirt like that. I'll bring this uh, Columbia one. This has a hood. So this is helpful in uh, bug season when there's still bugs out in the summer because the hood obviously gives me some coverage around the head. So uh, that works. And then I'll bring one warm fleece shirt. This is not really heavy fleece. It's, I would say it's kind of medium fleece. This happens to be a Patagonia, but this one I like because it's got snaps, it's got po plenty of pockets, there's even a zippered pocket here. Um, so it can get cool at night even in the summer. So I like to have uh, a warm fleece shirt with me. And that will, um, I can supplement that with this fleece vest which is also uh, a Patagonia. So that gives me, if it drops down into the um, 50s or upper 40s. This gives this the shirt and then a shell um, will give me plenty of uh, warmth. So this is a Kokotat paddling um, jacket. So um, sometimes I'll bring this as my shell. It's um, lightweight and packs up really small. And then um, other times I'll bring this uh, Fall Raven uh, Anorak. And I like this because um, you know, the Anoraks have a zippered pocket in the front. Okay, and uh, that works really nicely. And this one has a hood, whereas the paddling shirt uh, doesn't have a hood. So this is a good shell. And if it's um, misty, um, you know, a light drizzle when I'm paddling, I can wear this instead of my rain jacket. So um, that works over there. And then I have a pair of pants that I wear uh, in camp. So the paddling pants um, I'm just using when I'm paddling. And then I just bring, these are um, 
earth pack pants but uh, these are good because um, plenty of pockets and they're zip off legs so doubles as a pair of shorts and it's got the built-in belt and everything so uh, these would be my in-camp pants so all the clothes that I'm not wearing when I'm paddling go into um, a uh, compression sack and I have uh, this is the bigger one I have a smaller one uh, maybe up to here and so I uh, will put everything in here and compress it down and that becomes the clothing um, the only other thing are shoes when I'm not paddling in camp. I like the off-road uh, Crocs and um, I take the straps off of them because it's easier to get in and out of them uh, uh, in the hammock. And then if I'm going to hike, um, if there's trails around and I'm going to do some day hikes, I bring my uh, Solomon Trail shoes and these work really well. So that's about it. Uh, I hope this is helpful. Um, these are just some of the um, pieces of clothing and, I, and footwear that I found just works for me over the years.